Let's take a quick tour of the Chrome browser. Let's start at the top left hand corner of the Chrome browser and you'll notice that you have a left arrow allowing you to go back to a previous web page that you were reviewing before the one that's showing and if you had one in front of you uh, that you've come back for already then you could go forward as well so those are your back and forwards button just click on each with your mouse to go backwards or forwards in your history if you're using a Chromebook you'll notice a uh, previous page and forward page along the top row of your Chromebook Chromebook, brow, uh, Chromebook keyboard. Next to that is your refresh or reload button. When you get to a web page, if it doesn't load correctly or it seems like there's an error, just click that button and that will refresh or reload the page, hopefully resolving any errors. If you want to go back to your home page, click on the home button next to that. That'll come back to the home page that you've set or that has been set by default in your Chrome browser. Uh, next is your Omnibox and your Omnibox allows you to type in a web address such as google.com or you can type in a search term such as uh, Google Apps for, for Education Classroom. Hit enter and it will automatically go to the Chrome search engine and search for that content. The nice thing about the Omnibox is that it's one field that does multiple things. So if it recognizes that you're at a website, that you've entered a website, it'll go to that website. If it recognizes that it's not a website you've entered, then it will assume that it's going to be search criteria and allow you to uh, search for that information. Let me click on my back arrow to come back to that page. Uh, now, our Omnibox is there across the top, and then you'll notice that there's a star that's there, and that star allows me to easily and quickly bookmark that page that I'm currently viewing. If the star is empty or white, it means it is not bookmarked, and if I click on it, I can give it a name. I can also assign what folder or where I want it to be added to my bookmarks list, and then I can click on Done. If I need to edit the bookmark, I can always click on edit, or if I want to delete that bookmark, I can click on remove. If I don't like the bookmark name, then I can always click uh, in the name field, add to it or edit, and click done. You'll notice now that the star is yellow, indicating that that page is bookmarked. Another way that I can add a bookmark without clicking on the star is by clicking on the left hand part of that website URL and just dragging it down to my bookmarks bar that's showing. It will add it to my bookmarks bar as well as giving me an indication by giving me a colored yellow star. If your bookmark bar, bookmarks bar is not showing, click on your hamburger menu, come down to bookmarks, and come up and over and select show bookmarks bar that will reveal your bookmarks below your Omnibox. If you want to hide your bookmarks bar, just click on the hamburger menu, go to bookmarks, and then deselect show bookmark bar. That will hide your bookmarks bar. Along with the pages that you're looking at, you may want to open new tabs at any time and retain the tabs that you currently have open. Click on the new tab icon and then you can type the uh, URL of where you want to go in that new tab. While you're working in your classroom, you might find that you want to reorganize your tabs at any given time. If that's the case, then just click on the tab and you can drag and move it to make it the order that you want it to appear in. If you don't want a tab, then just move your mouse over the small x to the right hand side of that tab and click on that x. That will close that tab. Now if you accidentally close a tab, say for example I was wanting to move this over to the right, but instead I accidentally clicked on the X, then I can click on my hamburger menu, come down to recent tabs, and it will show tabs that I've recently closed, whether on my laptop, uh, which I'm on right here, or possibly on another device that I've used. I can click on that link and it will 
open that website into a new tab. If I want that tab to stay open and I don't want to accidentally close it, I can pin that tab by right clicking the tab and coming down to pin tab. When I pin a tab it moves it over to the far left and also shortens the tab length. So now I have no little X that I can click on to accidentally close the tab. I can rearrange tabs that have been pinned the same way I would rearrange regular tabs. I cannot move to pin tabs to the right beyond pin tabs. Once I've pinned a tab, I can unpin it so I can exit that or close that tab by right clicking on the tab and coming down to unpin tab. That will unpin the tab and allow me to exit that tab if I would like to. Or if I want to close all tabs at once, I can click on the X in the top right hand corner. Hopefully, this will allow you to get more use out of your Chrome browser now that you know how to search, enter URLs, go to the previous and next page in the history, reload the page using the reload icon, show your bookmarks bar, and pin tabs.